Hello and welcome to Fridays with Brandon. Today is Fluke Friday episode number 47 and what I'm going to do today is a little bit different than I've done before. I'm going to be talking about the MDA 550, the motor drive analyzer from Fluke, but I'm going to try to take the approach of why would somebody buy this? Um, what are the key features that customers care about that convince them that this is the right tool for them? So hopefully this will be helpful. I'll try to boil it down to what I hear customers say that is most impactful for them. And then you can either agree or disagree in the comments below. So let's jump into it. Here is our MDA 550. And if you ever want to turn it on, um, I always recommend for, with all of our scope meters, you hold down the user button, turn this, you'll hear it beep twice, and that'll reset it to factory default settings. And that's really important because with a scope meter, if you're not in default settings, you can get into all sorts of trouble based on what somebody before you might have done. So a scope meter, just like all the rest of the 190 series, recorder, um, so you have trend plot, scope record, scope meter, and then you have motor drive analyzer. And this is what's really cool about the motor drive analyzer. It basically gives you the ability to use a scope meter just like you would previously have used a scope meter on a drive, except now it has brains built into it to where you can choose where you're gonna be in that drive. And based on where you're gonna be in the drive, it then tells you what, how you would hook it up and what you might be caring about. So let's say it's the input of the drive, we hit enter. You can say, I care about voltage and current, voltage unbalance, or I care about current imbalance. Let's say voltage and current. Now you can say phase to phase or phase to ground. Let's say phase to phase. Then it will tell you, you need to hook up the voltage probe in channel A, the current probe in channel B, hook it up like this. So you say that, say next, and then it will give you, it'll display on here if you had, if you're actually taking readings, it'll display on there. You also notice that Fluke in this mode already puts these readings up here. So instead of having to go through and telling what all the four readings should be, you can just see it has voltage, um, DC voltage, uh, AC DC voltage, AC DC current, and frequency. Then you click this button right here, F2, and you see all of these switch. So now you got voltage peak, crest factor, different things. Click it again. So all of these change with one click of the button for all the variables that you would care about measuring when you're looking at voltage and current on the input of a drive. Now let's go back. Let's say we care more about the output of the drive. Maybe you want voltage modulation. Again, you choose what you care about. Let's say phase DC plus. Again, now it tells you how to hook up in this situation. You can always hit info button on any of these and it'll tell you kind of what you should be looking for in this area. You hit next. Now, the cool thing is with all of this, and in this case, we don't switch from, uh, we don't switch the different readings up here. We just have a zoom feature, okay? So at different levels that you would care about. Regardless, all of this is really neat because, you know, this tool is not going to be, you know, it's not going to tell you what the waveforms mean, what good and bad is, but it allows you to get into, uh, it allows you to get into where the waveforms are, get the waveforms on the screen very quickly and easily, know how to hook up based on where you are in the drive, and display that for you. Then once you're there, you can capture images, screenshots, and go on from there and make a report if you want to get a baseline and then see how things change from when what was good to what does not look good. So kind of so why do people buy? It is the ease of use. So the fact that you have that step through menu like where am I in this drive setup and what do I care about measuring and how do I hook it up? It tells you all that. And then it's going to display the the um, waveform signal that you're reading. And then you, as the technician, or um, if you don't know what you're looking at with the waveforms, like maybe me, maybe you would capture the image and then send it off to either the drive manufacturer or somebody else, and they could help you troubleshoot it. So it really quickly, you can get the thing set up correctly. So I kind of have 
two different types of customers. One is a customer that's like, I do this all the time. I can do it with a regular scope meter, but it takes me so much time to get all my readings changed and my settings changed every time I switch a location that I save money or I save time with this because it sets it up for me very quickly. Or two, I use a scope meter only once or twice a year. And when I hook it up, I don't want to have to learn how to do it again. I just want to tell where I am in the drive. It tells me what to do. I hook it up and I get to see the reading and interpret it from there. So that's why I think most customers are interested in an MDA, um, either a 550 or a 510. If you have different reasons other than those, why you think you might be interested or your team might be interested in something like this, leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you're always up to date on what I'm thinking about in the fluke world. Thanks and have a great weekend.